All right, clap, clap. This is it. The intro episode is here. We're, there's no turning back now, you know. Once the once the audio is going, the video's up. You you can absolutely cannot turn back. No annulments. Zero cuts. Zero editing. Just straight out to the world. As as soon as we're done, no editing at all. Just we're gonna try and find a way to enhance like the uh, physical appearance probably of what we're bringing to the show. If there's anything we can do, any, yeah, little cleanup there, little saturation, haven't seen the sun in a little while, that kind of thing. So welcome to uh, what we are calling the Kingdoms and Creators show. Uh, I am Casey Holiday. I'm sitting here with, and we are the co-creators of this show, which is perfect, makes sense. <laughs> For, it is. It's the first thing we've collaborated on, and I'm super excited about it. And it's kind of a weird, cool, serendipitous story as to how we even came to creating this thing together. Yep. One of our top employees. <laughs> Yep. Mm -hmm. So good. Mm -hmm. Which is it's the exact it's it's honestly it's the exact same thing. Absolutely. I think it's a combination of sort of what we have learned, what we are currently learning, and then what we hope to learn, right? And kind of exposing those three areas to people. And I think that the focus of this show is very much on, I think, people that are in the earlier phase of wanting to create something, sort of getting across that barrier of what is holding you back from creating something and not necessarily saying if you have created something like for you for instance like you within Ramsey have created a ton of things within that framework and then my background is in creating Kalo right and sort of like building something from nothing and seeing it through to a certain point and so with this show for me it's very much directed at yes people that are leaders in organizations yes people that are running successful organizations that are existing and sustainable and have been around for a while but I would even say more so on people that are kind of how you and I were, where separate from our day jobs, we're sitting at home going, we feel like we have more to offer. Like we feel like we have more to give and how dare we not give it. Mm-hmm. 
And it's interesting, absolutely. And it's interesting now when you reference grandparents, how little we know about members of our own family, like our own bloodline, how little we know about them and the way that they lived. And a lot of it being a direct result of just not having media, right, back then that we currently have today, but also just sort of a, I, I love that you, were, you use the word legacy. It's sort of a lack of recognition of the value of that. And I think the instant gratification world that we live in today is so much about what I am getting today, what I can get today, what I can have, as opposed to what can I leave. And it's a weird thing to think about, and it's weird to think about generations beyond you, but once you start to have kids, and it was interesting that I watched, I was with my son this morning, and he was playing with cars, and I took one of his cars and I did something with it, and he immediately did the exact same thing. And it was this really like a completely like meaningless example, but it was this really interesting moment for me where I was like, oh my goodness. Like one, it's my job to raise this kid into a responsible adult, right? Like that's my job, but also I'm modeling. That's what I'm doing with my behavior for him. And in this small moment, it was like, oh my goodness, he didn't ask questions. He didn't wonder why I did it. He just did the exact same thing. And it was really interesting. Uh, but anyway, I don't want to get too far down that path. The goal here is just to expose you guys as the audience to Jordan and myself having conversations about things that we enjoy, entrepreneurship, business, branding, um, and then sort of just opinions on every aspect within that and then also parts of our life as we live as husbands and as fathers. So it should be good. We'll wrap this one up.